Hello YouTube. This is the second video I've made on this today, but I've really busted this uh, Sam Adams uh, fellow with uh, Independence Baptist Church. This guy is a major wolf in sheep's clothing, and he's removing comments and censoring data, and you know, Christians are supposed to be about truth. Um, didn't Jesus say that he's the way, the truth, and the life? No man comes to him except except to the, to the Father, except by him. So, you know, I just don't get how this guy can do this. If you notice here, um, this fella sent me a reply to something that I sent to him many hours ago, several hours ago, but he deleted my comment. It's not here, okay? However, it's still in my uh, Google Plus over here. And his reply, all he did was copy and paste it. He deleted my comment and he, re and he copy and pasted his original comment that I replied to here some almost 12 hours ago. I sent it at 6.18 a.m. and he copied and pasted at 6.08 p.m. and um, you know he, he's just making all kinds of crazy uh, accusations and make you know making the, an issue out of the point that I've got a headshot here of myself while I'm at the beach uh, which is a moot point um, and then I mentioned in my comment that um, Daniel 2.43, and it says that they mingle their seed with the seed of men, but if they're not men, well, who are they? I mean, that's clear that they're corrupting the DNA. And I've gone all through this and explained um, already in my other video, but I'll just lightly touch on this uh, again, where it says the sons of God so the daughters of men were fair and they took uh, them wives all that they wanted and the result of that is they became impregnated and they and there were giants in the land as a result of those sexual unions and God was uh, really upset about it and decided that uh, he was going to destroy the earth but if you look here um, it talks about but the um, but Noah was a just man and he was perfect in his generation saying that uh, his DNA had not yet been corrupted and um, because if you look here at verse 12 you know the, the scriptures say that most flesh had become corrupted and if you remember on the ark all but eight people uh, were destroyed only eight people were saved on the ark. So, um, you know, it, it's a, you know, clear-cut case that this guy is stacking the deck. So, my comment is neither in uh, my reply to him is neither on Google, which is on the right side of the screen here, are in Firefox, which is on the left side of the screen here. However, again, it is still remaining in Google+. And then I pointed out, you know, the fact that he is lying, he is um, hiding and removing comments, and um, let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. And then I mentioned that he attacked Steve Quayle without cause or reason or supported evidence. I also mentioned in that same uh, reply to him, that uh, which he has subsequently removed, that um, well, does the same thing apply to uh, former pastor Tom Horn, which is a notable, very well respected uh, uh, Bible researcher and video maker as well as Michael Heiser, PhD, is also a Hebrew scholar, and I also pointed out that he needs to uh, 
you know, take a look at Michael Heiser's uh, Genesis 6 uh, Sons of God video, and I had provided the link to him. Uh, here's the actual title. Michael Heiser, Angels Cohabitating with Women, Genesis 6 Hybridization. So, you know, he does not want his flock to see the truth. The guy is a lion sack of poo, man. I'm telling you. I mean, th this, this just infuriates me. You know, it's one thing to deal with the shills and the trolls and everything else. But when you've got people that, that you know, claim to be Christian, and what's worse, a pastor, um, you know, the church has to speak out guys we really need to you know pull these people in and I just don't see enough involvement uh, in the church right now so um, you know this is my this is my plea to you guys I mean if you call yourself Christians if, if you believe that the, the Bible is a true word of God then you owe it to your to your fellow brothers and sisters to get off your butts and do something and try to expose these people. Um, I had even gone as far as uh, bringing up, uh, you know, the verses and you know, and even the corrupted Bibles talk about how the angels of God, uh, you know, stood before the Father and Satan came up and and. Uh, was there in in their presence uh, you know so these guys did come down and um, you know mate with human females some of them and uh, you know you don't even need the book of Joshua you don't even need the book of Enoch to prove it I mean you can pull it out of the Bible itself but uh, you know the book of Enoch and the book of Joshua only supports it even more and more so, you know, he's trying to say that angels are not the sons of, not sons of God, and that's not true. They're, they're not the only begotten son, but they're sons of God. And uh, different people uh, on this post, you know, have tried to set him straight. And they say, you're simply misinformed. You're, you're simply parroting the party line of your erotic uh, denomination. And, and there's other people, you know, that have said the same thing. Um, the most important things parents can do for their sons is to lead them to be a son of God. And the lady gives the scripture right here. Um, Romans uh, 8, 16, 17. So, I mean, you know, the guy is a false teacher. So I'm, I, I'm asking you guys to please, you know, share the word. And, and expose this guy and every other false teacher out there because that's part of the reason America's in the trouble that we're in. Um, you know, we've got the Rick Warrens pushing Chris Lum and all this false teaching and Christianity is being corrupted. And guys, if you guys don't do something, one, you're going to be held accountable. And two, America's going to burn in one hour. So that's all I have to say. Please, guys, help me and uh, help others like me, okay? And support us if you can. Love you. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Take care.